right, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a market review. I really think this is a good day to be doing this here today. It is actually after hours, the market's closed, and it's still continuing down quite a bit. And wow. Look at this. So we closed at 178.93, and we're now at 178.70. Uh, the market did what I thought. Boy. <laughs> I called the market twice short today in the room, and I don't think anybody believed me. I, 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 here's exactly where I called that we were done. I said, that's it. We're over. Hold on. It was at 940. That was a great call. And I don't think anyone believed me. So you could have shorted the market here very quickly this morning. Initially, I thought, well, first of all, in the morning, I thought that the, what we were going to do was we were going to set up to go lower, fake lower, but then hold. That's what I initially thought might happen today. I knew that we were, gonna, were not going to have some crazy green day. I thought we'd be neutral, tiny baby green, fake lower first and then hold, or there was a potential that we'd have a huge red day. And I saw it setting up very early, and then I said, that's it, it's catastrophe. And I called it really early. I tell you, that's the great thing about uh, figuring things out. You have everything set up that you, you know, ahead of time. You're all prepared. You did all the work, everything. Everything's right there. But then in a live moment, you got to be able to see what's happening so you can take advantage of the market, of the moves, or exit longs if you're them, or take shorts if you want to make money, or do whatever you want to do. Right here, I called the market short. Right here, I called the market short. This right here was a three-hour trade right down there into the number, right down there into the whole number at 181 as a quick trade. And right here, when this set up, I said, that's it, that's it. We're over. We're done. Boom. We're going to run all day. That was a great call, and it was very early. It was a 940. Now the market rallied here, bounced off the whole number, came almost all the way back to the high of the day, and I was watching. I said, hmm, hmm, hmm. But when the market did this, when the market came up here and didn't get over the high and set up here, I called the second short. I said, short, short it, because this was not right, and it was too late. And if the market was going to get over the high, it would have done it. It would have done it right here in this bar, 10 o'clock or 10.05. And then the market fell, and, then, and then, then it was just over. And I said the target today for the market, the dream target was 179 possibly horrific target of 178, 177.50, but I really thought 179 was very realistic, and that's exactly what the market did. I mean, I couldn't have been more exact about my target today for the market if I tried. We hit 179, and then into the close. The target that I had today for the market, it hit at the close, into the closing bell. That's amazing, people. Look at this now. Look at this. This is crazy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <clears throat> I really have something down here with the scops, people. I mean, these calls I'm making are just phenomenal. So we'll have to see here. I, I don't even want to say what we do next week until I see where we got. I mean, everything I'm determining, everything I figure out, everything I figure out from the gap. And the reason that I said that I thought then that there was the potential that the market might have the kind of day which it actually had was because when I looked at the market this morning, I said, this is bearish. Because in order to hold in here today, we should have opened neutral, come down and retested it, or opened higher and then gapped up and followed through to the upside. When we were here, I thought we'd fake lower, but I, I, I thought we'd right away very quickly be able to figure it out. And that's what happened. Within 10 minutes, I saw that we were going to fail and we we're going to have this crazy day, and that's what happened. And, and, and this is shorting coming to the market now. So there's two things that happened here in the market today. One, selling. Two, shorting. And when the selling started to come in and the shorting started to come in and the short started to push everybody down, the people that are long start panicking, taking profit, and that's what happens. That's exactly what happens. Somebody in the room asked me today, I'm in shorts, I mean, I'm in, I'm in longs, what do you think? And I said, well, it's up to you if you want to weather the storm or not. Because this is exactly what people start thinking. If they didn't exit their long positions in the first half an hour of the day, by 10.30, 11 o'clock, 11.30, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, people are deciding to get out as the market keeps falling. And obviously, you're better off if you want to take profits in something, getting out early and seeing it. Seeing it at 9.40 like I did, and the market was going to fall. And if you're in a long, get out. No one should have been long anything today. I didn't look at ever all the other charts and things, but no one should have been long anything today. There was no reason to go long today. And actually... 
I have to see what we do here on Monday. I mean, I'm not even going to say what we do on Monday because I don't know exactly what we're going to do on Monday because I don't know what's going to happen here, but I think that we might actually get down. I, I, I. So people are starting to come in to short the market because they think this is topping. This double top, this triple top, this can't get over the highs here, not being able to get over 185, the shorts are chomping at the bit to come in, and they started to come in today. People will actually starting to come into this today, and then the selling is coming down and pushing it down. I do not think this is the top of the market this year. I think the market is still going to continue the uptrend this year, but that remains to be seen. I have to wait and see what happens here. Did this gap today, oh, look at this, woo, where are we at right now, hold on. I think we're going to gap down possibly Monday morning because we're just selling off here post-market, look at that. I will say this, uh, we need to hold this, that's all, that's, I mean, that's three and a half dollars away. We could have a bearish day Monday. I think we possibly now might have the chance to come in all the way down in here, and I do think we're going to hold this. I'd be shocked, shocked if we break this, okay? This is this is very strong here, and this does need to hold. I'm just going to have to look at it day by day and live in the moment here. Uh, I forget what I was saying before I saw that there. I, I think we're even going to break 178 here in these post-market hours. Four... 4.15 on a Friday, Friday, Friday afternoon. It, this is selling off into the, in, look, look at this. <sighs> so bearish market in the market today. And I called that the market would just fall off the planet. I said, it's ugly. It's going to get ugly, people. I said it. I said it at 9.40. And there it was. And, and a lot of people in the room thought we're going to hold today because they say that gaps down to support typically hold. But that's not true. That's just not true at all. If it was true that something always did something like that, then all you do is always play that or something else. I mean, it's just not like that. There's so much more. I mean, I can't stress enough how important it is to learn how to read gaps. It's not as easy as buying on support. It's not as easy as short and resistance. There's one bazillion levels of support and one quadrillion levels of resistance. You can't just short this market here because you think this is resistance. This is absolutely resistance right now. This is set. This is resistance. I still think that the trend in the market, the bullish this year, is going to continue and get up over this resistance. I don't think the shorts are going to win out. But for the short term here, they definitely are. And we're going to have to see where we go from here. Is the market still in an uptrend after the scap today? The answer is yes. The market is still in an uptrend after the scap today. Okay? This gap today, this move today, the fall today has not broken the trend of the market. We are still in an uptrend. We had an intraday short-term bearish move today in the last few days as well, and this is a very bad bearish move. This is a huge, big shorting day, I and mean, you could have shorted anything anything today, really, almost, except for Netflix. <laughs> but I think, I think we're going to hold. Where, when, all of that remains to be seen, and I'm just going to have to live in the real-life time and play it as it comes. But I love to short. And here's a great example why I love to short. When the selling comes into a stock, when the panic sets in or the market or anything, when that kind of momentum, when that takes over, it happens fast, people. It happens wild. It happens whippy. It, it happens quickly. And that's how you're able to profit very, very fast from shorts. That's why I love shorting. Why people prefer to go long rather than short well, is boggles my mind. It's bizarre world to me, okay? Shorts pay faster and bigger than longs quicker. They just do. And today was proof positive of that. And I wouldn't be surprised if we gap and open up Monday morning under 178. So we'll just have to see. I mean, if we open, no, I don't even want to say it. No, no, no. This is bearish right now. I don't know where we go, people, but definitely the call I made for today followed through. I'm going to live in the real life moment, look at the gaps every morning just like I do and follow it from there and read the market in a real life time like I do when I trade. I do think that this area here has started to get shorted today. The shorts are pushing down, and for the moment here, intraday, they won, they won today. And then some people took profits in the longs. Whether or not the buying is going to come into the market to lift it on through at some point, I don't know. It's not right now, though. And we'll have to see what we do on Monday. And this is going to get down to an area here where it's really going to tell the sign. Because this is it, people. Wow, that was a really good call I made in the spy today. 
I tell you, I just to be able to see these things before they happen is what counts. It really doesn't matter if you see the markets falling. If it's 11.30 in the afternoon, if you want to short, it's late. If you want to kill along, it is late. You have got to learn how to read charts and reprice and read gaps. It's reading the gaps. It's reading the gap. It's reading the gap. I read the gap. It's reading the gap and how the gap acted on the open. It's reading the gap. It's a combination. I read the gap and then I read the price and I read what it does and I read what it does into the open. That beginning part of the day, I own that part of the day. To be able to see these things in, in that part of the day, in the beginning part of the day, to know something's going to work or not, or not, work or not, to, to see to see what it's going to do. I saw what the market was going to do in that first period of the day, in that first 10 minutes, I saw what the market was going to do. And even when it backed up up near the high, it didn't break over it and my call was spot on. To see what the market's going to do in live time is skill. It's a skill that can be learned, but you have to learn how to read gaps. That's how I figured all this stuff out and could see it in live time to see what it's doing. This market today, I said, was going to keep following. It went to the target, the dream target, uh, into the close of business today. It's now gapping down 40 cents under it. And, and, and Monday, I have no idea. I have no idea where we go on Monday. We are still in the uptrend, though. For the longer term, we're still in the uptrend in the market, okay? The significance of this move today will be told in the telltale sign of how we act from here on forward. And you're just going to trade in the live moment. But really nice day for shorts today. Really nice day for shorts today. Really nice day for shorts today if you saw that market call early like I did. And and uh, even, look at this. You could have shorted the market here around lunch. Beautiful. Really nice. So, you know, even though I love to go short, I'm not going to say that this is it. This is the end of the world. No, I'm not going to say that. I have to read what's happening here in live time. I called the market today. I said it was going to collapse. I said it was going to go all the way down nonstop. And that was correct. I'm not going to say the market's going to change trends this year into the downside. I'm not going to predict that here. It's way too soon to say anything like that. But I will say one thing. If the market wants to change trends, which is not, it didn't do today. But if the market wants to do that, I'm poised and ready with the stuff that I know and the information I know how to short to just go hog wild because I know how to short and I understand it and I know how to take the setups and I understand resistance and support better than anyone I know. So if the market does want to collapse, I'll be taking everything to dream targets this year. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm ready if it comes. I mean, you know, I've been ready for the last five, five and a half years since I've been trading. So... I don't, I don't think that happens this year. I think the market stays bullish, but it, the market will turn at some point. I don't know if it's 2014. Maybe it's 2015, but when it happens, I am poised and ready with the information knowledge I have about shorting bearish gaps to, to really, really, really go to town. So bring it on, market. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay warm. It is so cold outside. So brutally cold here in New York City. Have a great weekend, everybody. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com if you'd like more information about the next GAT course. It's February 8th and 9th. Also, I'm doing the Wealth Manifestation class Monday if you want to sign up for that, January 27th. You get one month free in the StockSwish room for that. And I'm doing a live event, February 16th. And that's going to be really special. It's the first time I'm ever doing a live event. And I'm going to be uh, working on that this weekend. More information on that to come. So have a great weekend, everybody. Stay warm, snuggle in. And I'm off to watch the Australian Open. Have a great day.